Hi, Jessie Nebulas here, and we're going to be doing a watercolor painting today. As you can see, I start with the line art using a Sharpie, getting all that lovely outline. You can see my cat. I had to move him because he was trying to get him all up in my business, as he does. Whenever I paint or do anything, he wants to sit directly on it. So, he's a cat. What can I say? So, I am filling out all the branches with a fine nib Sharpie. I love Sharpies. I use them so often, especially like in my paintings because I do a lot of mixed media. So I like to incorporate Sharpies when I can. And this day, in this uh, instance, I was able to, which makes me happy. So I'm just finishing all that up. And then I'm erasing all the pencil. You can see my cat poking his head in, trying to see what I'm doing, trying to get all up in my business again. Okay, and first things first, we're going to paint the sun, a nice lovely orange color, while maintaining the white space for the flower, as best as I can anyway. And then I dab it a little bit to get the excess paint up, because you can see the paper is already starting to warp a little bit. I need some decent paper. And after letting that dry, there was a cut there if you probably didn't notice it. I went ahead and got the other paint. This is actually acrylic that's been watered down because I can't get this lovely pink color in my with my watercolor set. Uh, if somebody else can, maybe, but not me. Keep in mind, you got to, got to, got to let it dry between layers or you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Dabbing off the excess again, using a hair dryer because I'm an impatient bitch. I am far too impatient for watercolor, but I still love doing it anyway. And really, if you water down acrylic, you will get a water watercolor-like consistency. So, it works quite well. As you can see, I the paint's starting to bleed down in the right hand there, right hand corner on the bottom. I'm trying to fix that, get it all mopped up so that my line isn't completely demolished. Using the hair dryer, wiping the paint, using both hands, being productive. Okay, and now it's time for the flowers. I used a purple watercolor with very little water added so that it would be nice and vibrant. Possibly it came out a little too vibrant considering the rest of the uh, painting is so soft, but the contrast might be nice. I haven't decided. I'm, I have mixed feelings about that. But I had to because I couldn't preserve the white around the uh, outer perimeter with the other flowers. So I had to go in super pigmented so that it would show up. But I think it turned out well. And as you can see, just dabbing up a little bit, adding the yellow to the middle of the flower, and it's all done. That is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.